Hey, this is Steve Shipkowski, and welcome to the GamesCon edition of DXTV. Now, for those of you who haven't seen some of our awesome E3 demo, come on, let's have a look at what you missed. So if you like that and you want to see the whole E3 gameplay demo or get more information on Mankind Divided, just visit this URL. So now that we've covered that, I think it's time to sit down with some of the dev team members and try and answer some of those online questions you guys have been asking. Hey guys, I'm Jean-François Duga. I'm the executive game director on DSX Mankind Divided. And I'm Patrick Forche. I'm the gameplay director. The UI will be quite customizable uh, this time around, like even more than on Human Revolution, right? Yeah, there's still stuff that's going to be pertaining to gameplay, things that, that players may want or not. And then there's going to be maybe things related to aesthetics. Maybe like kind of scaling the UI? Perhaps, yeah. perhaps things of that nature. And maybe the gun also, like, uh, if you don't like the, the augmented reality and you want more traditional HUD stuff. So the new Game Plus, I know you guys have been asking for it since the beginning of Human Revolution and for a lot of reasons we couldn't do it. This time we have good news, right? Yeah, we're taking the time to develop it and it, it's really all about uh, having players have fun with it. And discovering like even more about all the maps and the secrets and whatnot, right? So the experience system for Mankind Divided, actually we're still working on it this time around. We're not uh, favoring one play style over the, uh, the other and not make the players think that there's a right way to play the game. Fundamentally what we're doing is that we're adding uh, experience points for combat actions as well. Of course it is. Inventory management is all about encouraging you to choose your play style, your, your way of doing things, and what you think is important. So yes, it's going to come back. With Mankind Divided, since choices and consequences are really, really important to the franchise, to the overall gameplay experience, we're going to push it even further this time around. Choices that will carry over time. Things that you choose to do or not are actually tracked, carry over, open up opportunities, and then end up having actual serious consequences on ultimately what ending is available to you. So hopefully you guys will enjoy what we did with Mankind Divided. Hey, those were some great questions. Thank you for sending them in. So now let's go take a look at some of the latest improvements we've made in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. So as we revisit and improve even augmentations that were present in, in Human Revolution, one of the new upgrades for the Smart Vision is actually uh, being able to locate loot, which is a perfect tool for completionists. So in terms of weapon management, we have this really cool feature. It's all in-game. The player just brings up the gun, and you can actually choose your bullet type. Uh, and you can also upgrade your guns to, to add attachments, uh, like the silencer or the, a different scope or, or a laser option. You can turn those things on and off, on the fly, anytime, anywhere throughout the whole game. So the cover system is something we worked really hard on to provide maximum freedom and possibilities for players. You can actually use it to, to go forward in the environment. You just aim at a cover. Anything in front of you, you can actually go over the cover as well, and you can actually aim at empty space if you want to move in front of a door, behind a, a, an enemy guard, or anything of that nature. So it's very, very flexible and very fluid. So hacking's always been a really important part of the franchise, but now we actually have this cool new augmentation that's remote hacking, so you can actually do it on the fly, in the environment. So things where you needed a security terminal before, uh, turn off cameras and mess around with robots and things like that, you can actually do that right from your arm inside the environment now. Now I know not all of you can make it to Gamescom this year, and that's sad. However, let's take an exclusive look at what's happening on the show floor with the Deus Ex team. Okay, so 
for all you sci-fi movie buffs out there, let's go have a sneak peek at who I cast in one of the new roles in Mankind Divided. Agent Jensen, am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. I never really considered myself to be a voiceover person um, for a long, long time. It took actually a lot of convincing to get me to do it. You know, it's, it's kind of like this, um, something that could actually happen in, in maybe a not so distant future where we're, we're sort of headed that way with technology anyway, where people get augmentation for limbs that have been uh, taken off or have had to be removed. Well, if you want to see more on Vernon Wells and his new role as Jim Miller, please download the Deus Ex Universe app and scan the triangle and you'll be able to see the full behind the scene video. Okay, well there you go. But before we wrap things up, we want to take a moment to shed some light on our amazing fans and some of the awesome fan art that we received from them. Let's take a look. That's it, we're done. I'm Steve Shipkowski, I wanna thank you for hanging out with me, and please keep your eyes and ears open for more information on Deus Ex, Mankind Divided.